Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about conditions. How can we use if, else, and also how can we use the when keyword. So let's start with the main function. As the previous video, you should start with the main function with parameters as string array. Okay. Now, how can you use uh, if in Kotlin? There is no difference between using if in Kotlin or C++ in Java. Okay, so to create example with if, let's start with a message for the user, print len, enter, for example, marks. Then we are going to create a variable called marks with that type integer, and we are going to receive this value from the user as we make in the previous video. Because this variable is not allowed null, so we can use the not null operator. Now, the application will start with asking the user to create a variable called marks, okay? So then the user will enter any value, this value will be stored in the marks variable. So if marks greater than or equal to 50, print len for example, pass. Otherwise, else, print len, for example, fail. So in this simple example, the application started asking the user to enter mark. The user will enter any marks here. This mark will be converted to integer and will be stored in the variable marks. Then the condition will start to ask if the mark is greater than or equal to 50, it will print pass otherwise it will print fail let's try this simple example right click and run now enter marks let's suppose 80 yes it will print pass so this is how can we use the if using kotlin now in some other programming language like for example java c sharp and c plus plus if you have multiple if, instead of rewriting the if condition more than one time, you can use the switch command. In Kotlin, there is no switch command. Instead of using the switch, you can use keyword called when. So when is replaced for the keyword switch in Java and C++ and C Sharp. So how can we use the keyword when? Okay, let's try this example for enter number so the number will be stored in a variable called x now when x this mean try to check the value of x one refer to for example brentlen a this means if x equal one the result will be Brentlen A. Another one, two, for example, Brentlen B. The same meaning. If x equal two, the result will be B. And what about this? Three, two, five, Brentlen C. But we, I forget the keyword in. Yeah. This means if the variable of x between 3 and 5, that means if the user enter 3, 4, or 5, the result will be C. So what about if the user not enter 1, 2, 3, or 4, or 5? For example, the user enters something like 7, okay? So we have something called else Brentlen D, which means if the value is not 1, or two, or between three and five, the result will be D, something like default in switch. So let's try this one. Right click and run. Enter a number. So what about one? Yes, that's A. Again, what about four? It is C. So the last one, what about using something like mm, 8? It will print D. 
So in this video, we have talked about how can we use the if statement and the when statement using the Kotlin programming language. See you next video.